Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft. We are back at the garden and this is just one of the places that makes me feel so relaxed and I don't know, so homey. It's so lovely. But yeah, anyway guys, uh, today's episode is going to be another one of those uh, update episodes. I'm, I'm going to show you quite a lot of things that I have done off camera and also talk about some stuff so anyway let's start uh, inside inside the house I have actually uh, done some work here so this is the puppy's room hello Benny and Daisy and this is now finished and I really like how it looks I added a uh, little um, water bowl here with the food bowl and they also have some some little balls, some doggy toys here, and lots of bits and some some decorations also, some paintings and item frames. And yeah. So this room is now finished and let's let's take some food for the pups. And I still need to uh finish this living room area. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. Um hmm. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, I'm sure I will figure out something. Uh, yeah, so let's go outside. And I will show you what else I have done. So yeah, uh, sorry guys for the little hiatus about, about my videos, or with my videos I should say. Um, a lot of things have happened in real life. I have been sick, actually, I'm, I'm currently sick right now and my dog has been sick and ah it has been very a very stressful couple of weeks but you know that's just life i guess but anyway yeah i have done a lot a lot of terraforming and when i say a lot i mean a lot <laughs> yeah so um hmm, i think i have spent almost hmm, eight or nine hours altogether terraforming in this world and the old stable where it used to be here where we had that ugly ugly um, cliffy hilly thing <laughs> whatever it has finally taken down and it looks a lot better and I'm thinking that I may be building a little barn here, you know, for for a couple of cows and sheep and um, chicken and piggies. But the uh, the main farm area is going to be uh, on that prairie biome that we saw in the previous episode. But yeah, so this is one of the places that I have done some terraforming, and I have also started to plan the um, the stables. And the stables is going to be for uh, there's going to be four sections here, and there's going to be only few animals here. Maybe um, yeah, maybe one or two horses and couple of chocobos. So Honey is obviously going to have uh, her own little um, area here. I don't know the word in English, but anyway, honey is going to be here, and I'm also going to uh, give. Where is she? Let's see. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there she is, Iris, the white chocobo. She's going to be one of the uh, chocos, chocobos that I'm going to keep in my own stables here. But I still need to uh, design the stables how I want the. Uh, exterior and the interior to look like but yeah a lot of dirt a lot of stone here and that is because uh, I have done a lot of terraforming especially in this area and if you guys don't remember how this area used to look like check out the previous episode you can see it in the background when I'm uh, walking around in this area. But yeah, uh, basically I took about four or five uh, layers down 
in all of this area and this is going to be the pasture um, area for the animals so this is going to be all fenced all fenced off and the uh, horses and chocobos are going to have plenty of space here there are going to be of course trees and and lots of grass and flowers too so they will have they will have basically good time hanging out here and there are some a couple of wild chocobos here too and that blue one is one of the um one of the chocobos that I released back to the wild when I was uh, breeding them so yeah so this is the main um pasture area for the for the animals and actually yeah I have so many so many things that I want to show you guys um these couple stone blocks here are markers where the main road is going to be and the road is going to go here I I want to make it look look as natural as I can and it's going to be here of course I will need to do more terraforming here and here and it's going to go all the way to the desert village right here and this village not quite sure if I mentioned this earlier but uh, yeah there's some more chocobos that I released here uh, this village is going to be expanded and actually yeah let's go let's go here I don't want the puppies to get hurt this uh, village is going to be expanded also and it's going to be uh, I'm thinking that I'm going to expand it right here close to the lake because I actually want to make a water ro route to the um, to the savanna area to the savanna village from this uh, this desert village so I want those um, the r those residential areas or villages to be connected also by um, water ro is it route or route anyway so that basically so that the villages can you know uh, go to go to other villages to uh, see each other and and all that stuff and yeah the pups are there yeah so actually let's go back to the to the stable foundations and have a snooze so yeah, it actually took me something like four enchanted diamond shovels and um, at least four enchanted diamond pig pigs to uh, terraform all this area. And uh, yeah, it it was quite interesting. <laughs> but on the other hand, at the same time, it was it was quite fun but very time consuming okay so let's see let's feed the dogs there you go and let's see do I have any more stuff here that I wanted to show you oh yeah yes I do so yeah the uh, the road is going to come come down there and it's going to be right here somewhere and this pen is obviously going to be removed and uh, the road is uh, the main road is going to continue this way all the way to the savanna village right here it's going to wiggle around and end up some somewhere here and uh yeah so those are the plans for for these um areas right now and i also did did some terraforming here this used to be a lot higher um higher little hill right here so i i made it a little more flat and i also um basically just uh 
want to have some more space here because I think I want to build the um the sauna building somewhere here too. And let's see what else. Yeah, when we last left left off, I was uh planning the fence for the savanna area and I decided to go with this kind of design and that is because the previous one had just way too much way too much um, acacia uh, acacia coloring too much orange so I added a layer of cobblestone here and it looks a lot better now and I have actually um, finished the fence all the way all the way to let's go here there you can see it goes all the way back there where we have that uh, all the way on the left right there you can see where we have the um, beach area so that that part is all fenced off so no monsters can can roam inside from the desert and yeah actually let's go there there's something else that I wanted to show you guys and let's make the dogs sit down it's a little bit t dangerous for them to be here so yeah here we go I also added all the way around the fenced area I added some cactuses all different kinds ca kinds of cactuses here so that uh, when the mobs are, are trying to uh, come to the village or when they are coming near the feds they are taking damage and uh, eventually going to, they are going to die because of uh, damage from the cactuses so that's a little uh, safety measure I guess for the village as well so yeah that has been happening and let's go back here I actually also went uh, exploring a little bit with the doggies and we wa went all the way back to the savannah where we got all those acacia saplings a few episodes back and let's see did I put them here yes I went all the way back there to collect some uh, savanna plants so I got quite a lot of them these are all gathered from the savanna and I think these are going to look really nice in the village we are going to have a lot more color, a lot more variety with the plants here. And yeah. And let me think. Did I do something else around here? Uh the fence. Yeah. I actually didn't add the fence all the way all the way that way, you know, um around the be uh, beach area and all the way to where the um new stable and the pasture 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 is going to be because I'm not quite sure how I want to uh, lay out this area I first need to first need to do some planning uh, so I can actually uh, get a better idea where I want the fence to be but there is going to be uh, yeah I think there is going to be uh, a fence um, dividing the um, the stable area and the pasture area from the v savanna and there's also could be there is also going to be a gate somewhere he somewhere here where the um, the main road is going to end I have also done some planning uh, about the villager houses that are going to be in the savanna village and I actually designed them in one of my creative worlds so we are going to go to that world and check out how the houses are going to look like so I will see you in just a bit 
Okay guys, welcome welcome to my creative world. And here as you can see I have I have uh designed how the villager houses are going to look like in the savanna area. This is one of the uh designs. So I used the acacia logs here and some cobblestone for the foundation and also some jungle wood because it actually looks quite uh, quite nice with the uh, stone and the acacia logs and also some acacia slabs here and fences so this is the first first design I haven't planned how I want the roofs to look like yet but it's a work in progress <laughs> anyway and this is another another kind of a design I added some little details you know some little little holes in the walls there they are like little windows and the entrance is a little different and and this is one of the um, ideas I had to use this um, acacia and um, jungle wood like this so yeah those are the two two little houses that I uh, designed and this is one of the um, apartment style uh, houses that I made and this is very heavily inspired by vintage beef and uh, these little houses I I have taken a lot of inspiration from uh, from B double O and also Etho so there you go and yeah, so I'm going to make this kind of little little apartment style houses for the savanna area as well. And uh this is just basically there's nothing here. It's just the the uh wall right here. But this is the same design as that one uh beside sorry uh, except that I changed the coloring so this is the uh, orange stained clay and the yellow door instead of using yellow on the walls and orange on the door so yeah here are the designs and yeah let me know guys if you like them what do you think of them if you have any ideas any suggestions they are always very welcome but yeah we are going to start building hopefully very soon in the main world and use these these ideas. I may change some some of these designs later, but uh th these are going to be, you know, the um ideas, the the designs that I'm going to uh mostly stick with and and start building. So, I will see you in just a bit. Okay, there you go. Now you saw the designs for the villager houses on the savanna area and I really quite like them myself. I was quite pleased with the designs and and I'm anxious to start building here. I still need to plan where I actually want to um well to make uh, build the houses, but I think in this area right here there is going to be some some little houses and um i'm thinking that i want to make kind of a um what what is it called um uh, anyway a central place for the village you know where where, where could be a uh, fountain and and maybe some little little shops some um some stands, you know, for little um, salespersons and all that stuff. So there is going to be that that sort of common area, and the houses are probably going to be somewhere um, along with the alongside the walls. So maybe right, like right here is going to be one of the um, residential areas and so on. So I still need to do quite a lot of planning designing what I uh, how I want the layout of this um village to look like so it's definitely a working progress but yeah uh, we don't have 
a lot of time left in this episode because as I mentioned I am sick and unfortunately I can't uh, do much recording today but uh, I I did want to talk you talk to you guys about something else and uh, that is that I have after a long and hard um, consideration I've decided to open a Patreon page for my YouTube channel and that is uh, because I know that uh, some some people uh, do enjoy um, supporting and helping out you know their favorite um, content creators on YouTube and and all the other other kind of creators and uh, actually let's take a snooze so I decided to open the Patreon page for those of you who may want to support my channel and to help out help out uh, financially and uh, okay let me sleep thank you there you go so uh, from now on there is going to be a patreon link in the video description box for each of my videos and I'm actually going to make a separate uh, Marble episode about the patreon uh, patreon uh, page where I will go into more details about how the system works there and uh, how you can help out if you are if you feel like that is something that you would like to do and um, I've also decided that uh, for fi for my possible future patrons who want to support my channel like this uh, I'm going to build a special patreon area into this this let's play world and I have some ideas already I'm not quite sure where I actually want to build it I have two options right now and I want to want to show those options to you guys in this episode as well so let's go here So this is the way to the uh, spider spawner, that way. And I was thinking that in this area I could uh, dig inside of this mountain and make a, a donor cave sort of area. It's going to be a really pretty one, don't worry. It's going to have a lot of uh, water features, a lot of plants and wa uh, vines, and it's going to look pretty. And it's going to be the area where I want to um, put put up signs for those uh, those those of those of you guys who have uh, donated to my channel, who have hel helped helped out like that, and uh, who want to support me like this. So there will be um, uh, signs with the. Uh, Patreon's name on it, and I will I will also put some uh, based on the donation amount. I will put um, iron, gold, diamond, and emerald emerald blocks uh, next to the signs. And uh, for those of you who want to donate um, ten dollars or more, I will put also. Um, uh, statues. I actually installed the statues mod along along with the uh, railcraft recently, and I will uh, I will be making uh, statues of those donors or or patrons uh, to that cave or that place also. So yeah, that that is one of the options to simply dig inside of that mountain. I really love that mountain by the way. <laughs> it's so awesome. So that's one of the places and the other option is simply to uh, dig down from the basement. As you know there is a... Uh, my strip mine is, is right here. 
Okay, you sit down, thank you. So let's go here. So yeah, down there is the strip mine and one option is simply to uh, start digging somewhere here and make the um, patron area, the patron cave or the um, cave garden or whatever you want to call it uh, somewhere here and it's going to be quite large it's it's going to have a lot of space and as I'm as I said some water features and uh, plants and vines and all that good stuff it's going to look pretty so those are the plans for for the patron area and yeah so guys if you uh, if you feel like that is something that you would like to do to help out and support my channel uh, financially that option is now available it is of course completely optional and I want to say that I do appreciate all the uh, support that you guys uh, give me otherwise all the all the nice comments all the supportive um, encouraging messages I really really appreciate them and those kind of things guys are actually the the biggest things that make me want to continue and keep me going with the channel and the, the videos because I want to share my adventures in this these games that I love so much and I do really do uh, enjoy sharing these games with you guys and I hope that you are enjoying them as well so yeah that that's it for the rambling about the page and things and all the upda updates that have been happening here and the new plans as well so it's time to end this episode guys I hope you have enjoyed enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next episode have a great day guys bye bye